welcome to a new video lecture today we will discuss about the influence line diagram for overhanging beam and how to draw the influence line diagram for shear force bending moment and also reaction supports will be discussed in this lecture okay we will go through the diagram so an overhanging beam with a a b are the two supports given and the bc part is the overhanging portion and the span length will be small l and here a 1 kilo newton is acting over this portion so our intention is to draw when this 1 kilo newton is moving over this a to c portion how the variation is going to happen so first of all we discuss about how to draw the ld for reaction a then b and after that shear force at this point d point e likewise okay and bending moment also respectively so First case we will consider if a 1 kilo newton is acting at a distance x from the point A and uh, this distance B is there. Okay. And the remaining portion will be L minus X. So when this 1 kilo newton is acting, how the reaction will be coming as already discussed in the previous lecture. So here the value will be L minus X by L and here X by L. Or either you can take R plus R B equal to 1 then you can take sigma m equal to 0 then you will get the get this value itself okay so when x equal to 0 what is the value of r i when x equal to 0 if you substitute the value will be l by l so it gives 1 when x equal to l r i will be 0 okay so so the portions x equal to 0 to x equal to l variation we already discussed here then our intention is to find out when the load acting at this portion B C how it varies. So we can take this one kilo newton is acting at a distance x from this point C, and the remaining distance will be and the total distance is a, so the remaining distance will be a minus x. So you can substitute the values R A plus R B equal to one, and taking moment about the B, so R A multiplied by this distance that is L, that is it is in a clockwise direction and here this 1 kilo newton is also acting clockwise about the point B. So you will get the value finally R equals minus A minus X by L. So you when you substitute the value when X equal to 0 the value of reaction R equal to minus A by L. When X equal to A if you substitute the value at here X equal to A the value of reaction is going to be 0. So, our next intention is to draw the diagram into this respective value. So, when x equal to 0, the value is going to be 1. And when x equal to n, the at to b, the value is going to be 0. Reaction at, or at this, x equal to l equal to 0. Then, when x equal to 0, it is a negative value. So, we have to downward, you have to draw it. And when x equal to a, it is going to be 0. So this is the diagram for uh, reaction A ILD. Okay. Similarly, you have to find out the values for uh, ILD for ILD for uh, reaction B. Okay. When x equal to zero, when x equal to zero, the same diagram. It's the value is x by L. So you will get the value as R B equal to zero. If you substitute this x equal to zero the value of respectively you will get x equal to 0. When x equal to L, when x equal to L, the value is going to be 1. Okay. Just to substitute the value here. Then you have to consider when this 1 kilo turn is acting, how the reaction of R B is going to happen. If you substitute this value is R A plus R A value here, you will finally get R B value as L A plus A minus X by L. Okay. So when x equal to 0, when x equal to 0, Rb value is going to be, if you substitute here 0, L A plus A by L, and when x equal to A, it is going to be 1 itself, the same value. So if you draw the value at x equal to 0, and at this point A, it is going to be 0, and at B, the value is 1, and after some point, that is overhanging portion, C portion, the value is going to be, so it will go linearly. So this is the diagram for ILD for RA and RB. So please note down, uh, please post the video and please note down these values and also draw the diagram of ILD for RA and ILD for RB.
now we will discuss how to draw the influence line diagram for the shear force okay when this unit load is passing over the b so already we discussed about how to draw the ilp of uh, for reaction at the port a and b and when this 1 kN is traveling from this point a to this point c how the shear force variation occurs at the point d that we will see right now so in the initial case this 1 kN is acting at the point between this a and d so we can order on that the shear force value at this section will be minus rb if you are going to take the section if you are going to take the section here this shear force value will be this both are in the if you consider this much portion only this by only this rb reaction is only here so you can write down that the minus x by l so when x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 that is when x is equal to 0 ft value is going to be 0 shear force will be 0 then when x is equal to z that means the position of d ft value will be minus z by l okay so after a point of time this body moves to this position then what is going to happen the fd value will be then the after a point of time this body is move more to this position that means if you take this okay this is the case then you can consider very easily that here only this reaction r is only acting here so the shear force acting here will be Fd equal to Ra. So Ra we already know down that L minus X by L. So when X equal to Z, that means when X equal to Z, it is going to be Fd equal to L minus Z by L. And when X equal to L, when X equal to L means this total span of this B, A to B distance. Fd value will be L minus L. Obviously, it is going to be zero. Okay. So from A to B, the load all moved right now. So our next direction is to find out when this load is coming to this position and this position between this B and C, how the variation is going to happen. So already we determined the reaction when this load 1 kN is acting at this point, the RA and the RB value we already determined. And if you take the situation, FD value is going to be RA and finally you will get minus of A minus X by L. And when x equal to 0, you have to notice from this point, when x equal to 0, fd value is going to be minus a by l. And when x equal to a, the value is going to be fd equal to 0. So we determined all the values for the graph. So we can notice from this first value, when x equal to 0, when x equal to 0, fd value is going to be 0. Ild for fd okay shear force for fd when x equal to z fd value is a negative value that is z by l then similarly when x equal to z again the value is going to be positive that l minus z by l and after when x equal to l it is going to be fd equal to zero this is when x equal to l x equal to l then you have to consider from this point that when x equal to 0, fd value is going to be negative value. And when x equal to 0, that means the span distance fd equal to 0. So if you draw down, this will give you the ILD for shear force. Okay, we will discuss how to draw the bending moment diagram at the point D. Okay, so here we can note down that the body is moving from this point A to this C. How the bending moment for this point D happens. So at the first case we will consider the position of this one kilonewton at this point between this A and D. Then the value of bending moment will be you can multiply this RB reactions. We already determined this value is RB and RA when this value is between AD and this DB. So here the value you can directly multiply this distance RB multiplied by L minus is the distance. Okay, then if you substitute the values RB value we already know X by L then into L minus Z then when X equal to 0 at this position MD value is going to be 0 and if you substitute the value at here Z when X equal to Z the value equal to Z by L 
multiplied by L minus L Z. Then, then this unit will pass over to this position between B and D. Then what is the value? MD you can directly take that. This one. Now this body is here. Then you can directly take this RA multiplied by Z. Okay, now I need to take this RB. So if you substitute the value and finally you get when x equal to z, md value is going to be l minus z by l multiplied by z. And when x equal to l, distance md equal to going to be 0. So at this point, the d position, the both the values are same. Positive value also, no doubt. Then the body travels to this position and the reaction that R A and R B will change. We already derived those values in the first case. Okay. So the values will change. Now you have to determine what is the shear force that is here. Then also you can note down that R A multiplied by Z. Okay. So if you substitute the values, you will directly get when X equal to 0. Then you have to note down from here. When X equal to 0, M D value is going to be minus a by L into Z, then when X equal to A, this distance is A. So when X equal to A, it is going to be 0. So if you draw the diagram at X equal to 0, initially it is 0. And at the point D, the value is going to be Z multiplied by L minus Z by L. Then at the point B, it is going to be 0. Then again a negative value, we will get this value. So the graph is plotted here, ILD for MD. Okay, bending moment at the position D. Okay, now we will take a point on the overhanging portion, that is E. Then how the variation of bending moment and shear force will notice right now. Okay, so this load is traveling from this point to uh, this C point. Then if the point is here, between this A and B, whether this influence over here, any shear force influence, since from this portion, if you consider if the load is acting in between this A and B, it won't influence here. Okay. Or either you please cross to here. The load is acting here, whether this influence here in this part. Okay. Since if you take a section here, there is no forces here. Okay. So it will be zero. And if the force is here, it also won't influence the position of shear force here. So it is also going to be zero. But when this load is acting at here, when this load is acting at here, it is going to be influenced the shear force and it will be one. Since only to the right to E, there is only one kilonewton is acting here. So we can easily write down as positive one kilonewton. And also we can note down this ILD for shear force at the position E it will be a constant value, positive value, and 1, okay, 1 will be the value. Then similarly we can draw the diagram for bending moment also. If the position of this 1 kilonewton is between A and B, it is going to be 0, and also between B and E, it is also going to be 0. And here please note down, this 1 kilonewton is acting at a distance, X from the point C, and the section distance is Z1. Okay, this E point is going to be Z1 distance. So, the remaining distance will be Z1 minus X. So, you can easily note on that minus 1 multiplied by Z1 minus X. So, when X equal to 0, M equal to minus Z1. Then, when X equal to Z1, M equal to going to be 0. So, you can easily draw down. At the point C, it is going to be Z1 minus X negative. And at the point E, it is going to be 0. Okay, this is the diagram for ILD for bending moment of post point E. Okay, so with this we will wind up the this post portion. So, thank you all.